Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rosh from The Poor Millennial Mom and this channel is all about cash stuffing, budgeting, and debt repayments. I am a single mom and I started paying off $113,000 of credit card and student loan debt. So let's, um, let's get started. We are doing a debt free Friday update. I do these updates every two weeks to match with my paycheck because I get paid bi-weekly. And uh, this is a pretty exciting one. So let's go through it and I will explain. Okay, so first of all, um, I paid off the Fido MasterCard this month. Um, I paid it off on Thursday. I suspect there will probably be one more payment just for like the residual interest um, on that card. But for right now, the card balance is zero and it has been closed. So I checked my credit report yesterday and it is no longer showing up on my credit report. Um, so that card is done, it's zeroed out, it, it, I'm free of it, I'm so excited. And to do that, I made $247.99 in payments uh, over the last two weeks. So $50, $100, and then $97.99 on Thursday to kind of clear out that last amount. So that is done. I'm actually really excited because it means that this can be zero from like now on, which is amazing. Okay, so after that, I put, um, let's see, I put 51.23 towards the Tangerine MasterCard. Um, Tangerine, I was making minimum payments on it. And so the minimum payment on that is 31.23. So I made that and then I realized I had like an extra 20 bucks in one of my Tangerine accounts and I don't really use my Tangerine bank account anymore. So I just took that money and I threw that towards um, Tangerine for a total payment of fifty-one twenty-three. So the reason is again because Fido is done. All of my Fido payments that I've been making are now going to go straight towards Tangerine. So that means that Tangerine, as of right now, Tangerine has a balance of one thousand seven hundred dollars sixty-three cents. My goal is to have that one paid off, preferably by the end of the year at latest. Um, by the end of like September or October, if possible, because I'm working Stampede, um, I'm going to use some of that money towards Tangerine and like pay it down. And then once that is paid down, then again, we'll just move right on to the next one, which will be uh, Scotiabank. So speaking of Scotiabank, I made a payment on Scotiabank as well. I actually made two payments um, because I didn't realize that I had um, set up an auto transfer to that one either. But basically, I made a payment of $65 towards Scotiabank to like kind of pay that guy down. And then I had forgotten I had an auto payment set up, so that was another 50 bucks. So I made a total payment of $115 uh, total towards Scotia. So that means that one's down to 2306, but then I realized that my partner used that card to pay for the um, lawn care, so it brought it back up again. Not super pleased, but it is what it is. Um, you know, these things happen when you're sharing a card with somebody. So yeah, we are we are doing good. We've made some good progress. I mean, I started filming these in April, and since then we've entirely paid off Fido. We've made almost twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars in payments, and eh, twelve hundred if we round towards Tangerine. Uh, we're like slowly working on Scotiabank, slowly working on RBC. Um, oh, in other news, I am not quite sure how I represent it on this sheet yet, but part-time loans for my 
um, last year of school finally got approved. It just took, I've been working on this since October, but we're finally there. Very excited, very happy. So glad it, it, I'm gonna have to start this all over again in September, but whatever. Um, but that's $15,000. Now, 5,000 of that is grants that I don't have to pay back. So it's the dependent grant, and then there's another one. Uh, I think there's a grant for part-time students. So those I don't have to pay back. And then there's a $10,000 part-time Canada student loan. Now, the thing with that is you can only ever have $10,000 of federal student loans out. Um, so once you hit your $10,000, you have to pay it down in order to get more um, for part-time loans. So we'll have to figure out how that works for me because I still have two more years of my degree. But the point being, that's 15 k I have to pay seven towards tuition for last semester because I haven't paid that yet. I was waiting for these loans. The other seven or eight is going to go towards the line of credit. So that's going to bring it down to about um, 11000 So that's great. But then there's also that like loan. So I think overall my debt picture won't change that much. But it does mean that that almost 11% on the line of credit will not be accruing as much interest. It also means that because I'm classified as a student, I won't have to make any payments on my Alberta or federal student loans. Um, so that will free up a little bit of cash flow, which is also very nice. Um, it'll be like an extra 50 and 70, so like. 120-ish, 130-ish dollars a month that I will have available to put towards things. Um, but yeah, so we'll update you guys when I hear about that. But all in all, the total um, payments that I made for this period was $414.22 towards debt. Again, significantly lower than the other um, months, April and May, because, you know, I used other money for those. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, going forward, the debt repayment amount monthly will be a lot lower. Aiming to spend, spend, aiming to pay about $800 per month uh, towards debt to eliminate it as soon as possible. But... Again, that might change as I fill up my emergency fund and sinking funds, then that money can also go towards debt. It's just really important to me that I have the money available for emergency funds and sinking funds, um, just because that way I'm not using a credit card to pay those when they come up. And I'll have another video on savings and all that, but suffice to say right now, we're sitting pretty good. Um, my emergency fund is close to where I want it and my sinking funds, the priorities are pretty full and then the other ones will probably just get a small amount on a monthly basis. But anyways, that leaves us with the last bit here, which is honestly my favorite part. It is filling in my little um, star chart thing. Because who doesn't like getting a gold star, right? Um, I, let's see, I've been sticking with purple, but I kind of want to change a color here. So let's see, maybe it helps if your thing is charged. And eight. So we've got one, so ten thousand, two thousand fifty, it looks like, is what I think is paid off on here. Um, if my math is not mathing, please let me know. But uh, yeah. But yeah, that does it for me. 
Thank you so much for watching and staying tuned. I really appreciate you. I will see you again um, either next week or the week after for my next Debt Free Friday update, where we will talk about that student loan situation and how that's going to affect my debt payoff. And uh, yeah, bye!